Growing up in Limpopo, left back Punch Masinamela had but one dream to play professional football. But who would have guessed that reality would escalate that dream to the heights it did? Like I never thought I would be playing for a big club like Sundowns. Like during my time at high school, I was just playing football. Even at the threes, like I, the feeling is great, yeah. That's what I can say that. The feeling is great. Masinamela's skills saw him rise within the ranks of Chiefs and become a firm favorite with their fans. His move to Turkop wasn't well received by them. It has been a great move for me. Like I never thought it would be like this because people, they were calling me with names. But for now, I think I'm coping with that. And I, I just have to thank all my teammates and the technical staff that has made it very easy for me. Because all of them, they were very welcoming. I really want to thank them about it. Yeah. A move to any club has its challenges. And for Masinamela, it was the adaptation to Nieskin's 4-3-3 formation. Everywhere you go as a player, like you have to adjust to the system that they play. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult for you. If I'm not going to say, like, hey, now this system is my style. I don't think like it. you're going to go anywhere because you have to adjust. Talking about adjustment, Masinamela also had to adjust to his new name, How Train. I don't know where it comes from. me. I just hear people calling me with that name. I really don't know where it comes from. Maybe it's because of the speed that I have. The How Train doesn't just arrive on time for match day. There's a method behind his match day preparation. I started training like a year. Like I have to focus 100% on training. Like I have to make sure like I get enough rest. And then maybe try and get the videotapes of the opponent and try to analyze like the opponent that I'm going to face. That's what I do like before the game. As a defender, you sometimes open yourself up to the wrath of the officials in the defense of your territory. Punch learned this the hard way against pirates. I, I think it was kinda hard for me, like it was my first red card ever since playing professional football. The time when we were playing, I thought I had the ball there. I, I thought I had the ball there, like it wasn't my intention to kick that boy there. Even after that game, like I tried giving that boy a call, tried to apologize, but I did. There's definitely balance in PSL football. For every low, there must be a high. For Sundowns fans, Punch's goal against Ajax was one of those highs. We were behind by one goal, like we were desperate for the goal, like I just found myself in the right position, in the right time. I just aim and shoot. I was happy, like I couldn't even show it, like I didn't even know what to do, like I couldn't even celebrate because we were just equalizing. If maybe it was a, something like this, or maybe it was a goal, that, a winning goal, yeah, maybe I was going to celebrate. It's Punch's speed down the flank and his crosses into the box that make him a nightmare for opposing defenders. For Punch, it's a case of the more he practices, the luckier he gets. In the game, like it's kind of difficult because you have to focus on the ball and you have to focus on the players that are making the runs in the box. In our training session, we do spend Time, like practicing those crosses. At practice, the competition for a place in Nieskin's starting lineup, although fierce, according to Punch, takes a backseat to camaraderie at Klurkop. Even the guys that I'm competing with, we are always encouraging each other, like try to rectify each other's mistakes. That's what we are doing. Punch's move to Klurkop was not the only career changing move he experienced in the last few months. He also caught the eye of the national selectors. It felt great, yeah. I can't really explain it. It's something like every player in here in South Africa wants to do. It's every player's wish. You want to go there and represent your, your country. With a Bafana Bafana call up in the bag, the track ahead for Khao Train is clear. For me, I just want to play more games and win more games with Sundowns. That's what I want. I don't want to lie to you, like I'm very, very happy. Sundowns president Patrice Mutsipe has a clear vision for youth development at Sundowns and it includes Johan Cruyff. But how did this partnership come about? Uh, actually, it starts when the, the president, Mr. Mutsipe, talked with uh, Johan Cruyff. Uh, he was saying that he wants to grow as a club. He wants to be uh, to be one of the best clubs in Africa. But to do so, you really need a youth development. You need an academy. So that's the way it starts. He said, I really want to, to give more attention, to do everything that needs to create a good academy and, of course, a good youth development. Yeah.
Our main responsibility here from the Yonkai Football Development Program is to bring in some youth coaches from uh, from Holland and from Spain, but also uh, working with the local coaches. And then ultimately our job is to make sure that uh, Coach Neskins has, uh, has a look at uh, two or three players, homegrown players, uh, to take a look at seriously for the first squad. We want to maximize the potential of each player, but we also want to make them good students because those two things have to be together. We also want to make them a responsible citizens because we want to give them a good solid base at our academy because you know if you have 60 players, how many of those 60 ever going to be a professional football player? Probably not all of them. So if they have a good solid base at our academy, I think then we have done what we what really want. What you see is that the most of the players, uh, they miss the basic skills. We want to give them uh, the basic things of football, you know, and that is passing, receiving, you know, position game. That's also what uh, the, the first team does. So we want to, to train actually almost at, at the same way, probably in a level lower than the first team. Because uh, the thing is, a player from 17, 18, 19, he really has to know how the first team plays. And that's what we also are doing, you know, to try to make the gap closer. And if you see now today, we're going to train here at, uh, at Klokop, where the first team trains. And uh, the first team coaches are also going to be here, also they're going to train us. I think that for the boys, this is really, really huge, because they are, they are thinking like now, we are now one, one, one club. David, what is the technical thought behind the development players watching the first team practice? Now the purpose is also to see uh, how it's, uh, how they are they are training and also to compare how we are doing and of course we are also going to talk about what they see something at the first team they all can say okay that's what also what we do we do at at the academy. What do you get out of a training session? I am enjoying it a lot because when you are training with uh, young kids and you, you can see that they are eager to to learn they are really motivated yeah then it's something that I like to do it's giving training and when they are responding well so then I am a happy man. The partnership will not only be limited to player development, but also include a local coach development program. What is the key to transferring these skills? In the beginning, it's uh, of course you, you're gonna try to to bring the vision over to the coaches. So later on, the coach also can bring the, the vision over to the players because we are here for a few years. After that, we are we are gone. For me, and for, I think I, I speak also for the other coaches, it, uh, we would be really proud if I would see one of our coaches now, local coaches, probably or in the means two, three, four, five year times, they're going to be one of the first coaches, uh, the head coach of Mamba Nori Sandals. You always have doing one thing or this. How soon will your hard yeah. work start reaping yeah. dividends? For uh, development, sometimes you don't see the results right away after one year. The results you see it after maybe two, three, three, four years. And even though if there are players from our from our academy, even though if they are not going to the first team, it's not only about they are going to the first team. Of course, that's we want to four, five, six, you know. But if they also can play on other uh, football clubs, that also some that Sundowns should be proud of. Are you happy with what you've achieved so far? I think to be here with those boys in the morning, we are right here, they saw the first team training. I think we achieved already. And uh, it, of course, for the, those players, for, the multi, for their motivation, that the first team and, and the, the head coach of the first team, they're going to be here. I think for, their, for the motivation of the players, it's really, really great. I think for the, this day, it's a really good day. Sky's the limit, which is David and his team every success in their endeavor. With Clayton Daniels' recent move from Cape Town, we at Sky's the Limit thought we would get him used to the hustle and bustle of Twani by taking him to the track. Well, it's my first time, so I'm quite looking forward to this. I won't say I'm a speed, speed freak because I'm quite an easy guy. I like to take my time, be settled, and that's the way I roll. We couldn't let him roll alone, so we invited a fellow Cape Townian along, but boys being boys, they decided to turn a gentle drive around a track into a race. And I think I'm gonna enjoy it, but okay, Franklin is here with me. I think he's gonna give me a hiding today. Of course, I've got a BMW M3, so I love being on the track. I wanna do my best to win. You must just watch out.
keep things fair, we let the guys get used to their new modes of transport and assess the pitch conditions and each other's skills before the duel began. I would say it's the easiest way to get into motorsport for starters. Come on, Clayton, come on, Clayton. They're pretty fast, eh? If you look at their go-kart, it's about three centimeters off the ground, eh? It's very, quite amazing to see uh, somebody doing a speed of uh, a plus minus 85 to 90 kilometers an hour. Talking about speed, how have you adjusted to the speed of sundowns, Mr. Daniels? I think they accepted me very well. Everyone is nice to me. They know where I'm coming from. What are your goals at Kloorkop? Well, the status is to do well for the club, you know. It's important, this club needs some trophies. I'm here to be part of it. I also want to win some trophies. And just to give everything, every training, coming with a positive mind, working very hard, and the rest will follow. When we were at Ajax, we always used to go out and do stuff like this, you know. It's quite nice to have him to have him here. For the second time in the same team, I know Aus Franklin, a very hard-working player, you know. And to have him as, and as one of uh, Sundowns players, it can only be a bonus because you can see on the field and off the field what a good professional he is. So I, I look up to him and where I make mistakes, he can help me. When he makes mistakes, I can help him. So we're there for each other. So it's, it's quite nice. I've been staying by him while I was looking for a place. And he helped me very nice. He's the closest to me now here at, at Sundowns. But friendship and teammatesmanship get thrown out the window, so to speak, when you go head to head on the track. How was the experience, gents? For me, it's like uh, sitting on the ground. Yeah, the adrenaline underneath my, my bum there was a little bit at the moment. But as it goes along, I, I think I, uh, I get used to it. I like it. And it's been a very, very nice experience. After four or five rounds, I think I, I did well. For his first time, he was the better one on the, on the speech today. <laughs> In the beginning, he started very well. But I, I think he let me win. He gave me some confidence there to come again. And I get used to it. I think I, I get more into this game and I did well for myself. Yeah, they did very well. Um, I was very impressed to see the guys playing from soccer, coming to the go-karting, doing such good stuff. Like, it's very good, you know. I'm sure they will be looking towards the comeback again, eh? Well, that is amazing, you know, for the first time, but not, not my last time. Looks like Mr. Daniels will handle the Gauteng pace just fine. That's it for this episode of Sky's the Limit. Till next time, cheers! Lady Tulo.